welcome back to another video welcome back to another video and in today's video i'll be explaining cookies in javascript so basically what a cookie is is a text file that is saved onto the server or the browser that can be reused again by the computer for example i'm gonna pick a new i'm gonna start by changing my theme first let's start by that awesome you can see i've set my theme to blue but whenever i refresh it does not delete that blue it uses the cookie that saved and sets my background color to blue perfect then i'm gonna set my name john for today i'm gonna set an email address john at gmail.com awesome then i'm gonna click on the button set cookies the cookies is set but we cannot see it yet but then when we go over to our application side you can see over here there's all the things. The theme is the blue, the name is John, and the email. Awesome, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step, the first step is just to create the form. We'll not be coding any forms or any of these interfaces because we want to jump straight into the cookies and how they work. So we create the form, give it labels and all of that, input types. Make sure to include the IDs on all the input types as a name and email. And then the select option where we're going to select the background color. Make sure to give it an ID as well. We already put in a function on change, which we're going to create in the JavaScript. Then the values is any value. You could give it red, green, blue, all of that. And then the styling is minimum. I just margin top and aligned it. Now this is how it looks. Nothing will happen when I pick a color or anything because we haven't coded for that. So let's jump into the coding of that. The first step we're going to do is create the function set team Make sure you spell the theme perfectly. Set theme cookie. Okay, it's not going to take any arguments for now because we're going to be getting the input directly from the user's value. Okay, so it's not going to take any output. The first thing we're going to need to do inside this function is declare a variable named theme. Theme, we're going to make it equal to whatever the user selects. So get document get elements by ID. Okay. And where we're gonna get the selection from? Over here. So the selection of this. So we're gonna copy this, paste that in. Dot value. We're gonna get the value that the user in has selected. Okay, now to change the background color, we're gonna say if the theme is not equal to over here we have the first thing which is select theme. If it's not equal to this, then I want you to, to change the background color. So let's paste that in. Okay. If it's not equal to that, perfect. What I want you to do, document.bg color is equal to the theme that the user has selected. Now, let's refresh our page. Let's go to our page, refresh. Look, when we select the theme, it changes to that theme, light green, blue, and calm orange. Awesome, awesome. So what we're gonna do with this is we wanna keep that theme, the theme that the user has selected. We're gonna use that theme as a cookie. So we're gonna write the cookie by using this syntax. Document dot cookie, okay? Is equal to, we give it the name. So this is the theme. This is the name of the cookie we wanna store it into. Then we're gonna add theme, okay? What are we doing when we're adding theme? We want the cookie that's stored to equal to the value that the user has picked. So that's the theme, okay? Then we need to add one more thing in order for that to work. Control save, okay? Let's go back here, let's refresh. I don't need to refresh, but refresh. Then let's inspect our page. Let's go to application. You see over here we buy cookies. This is the cookie that we have set. If we just pick a new cookie like light green and refresh our page, 
can see the cookie changes so we're taking directly from what the user inputs as our cookie perfect now let's give this an expiry date when do i want this cookie to expire maybe tomorrow okay expires is equal to the day friday which is tomorrow the date 16th of september okay 16th of september make sure it's a date that hasn't yet reached 2022 the time zero hundred hours zero minutes zero seconds utc time then you put this okay now let's go back here let's refresh let's pick a new cookie okay let's refresh that and now we can see when it expires if we open up here you can see it expires tomorrow once we open there it expires tomorrow so we've already set the cookie that's the first part we've already done that now that we've set that cookie let's go to the next step let us set the cookie for the name and the email this part should be quick okay so we're going to create a new function i'm going to set that set name and email cookie okay same as what we did on top we don't really need an argument for now okay since we don't need an argument let's start the first thing we're gonna need to do is declare our variables name is equal to document dot get element by id okay remember over here we gave it an id when i said you should give it an id we gave it an id of name can okay, control paste that in here dot value so we want the value that the user gonna input okay then we can just copy this and I'm gonna just tweak it a bit. Awesome, awesome. There we are. Then we change that into email. Then we change this part over here into email. Okay. Now that we've done with that, what's the next thing we have to do? We're just gonna copy exactly what we did over here, but this time we're just gonna set it to something else. So we can copy this code. Oh, we don't even need to copy it let's start it from fresh document dot cookie is equal to okay yeah it's the name okay so name is equal to where we're going to get the name from the input of the user and that was saved as name we use that here over here let me show you. this and this same thing make sure it's the same thing perfect and then we add over here, not that, we add this. Expiry date, we're gonna expire it on the same day. So you can just copy and paste this for the expiry date. But make sure you put that plus sign first. Perfect. Then that, if you want. Then we can do the same thing, but now it's for email. Control C, Control V. Instead of name here, yeah, you change that to email, okay? And over here, you change that to email. Expiry date, same day. Awesome. Let's go back to our browser. Let's just make this thing a bit smaller so we can see. Awesome. Now, what we're gonna do, I already have name saved, so I'm just gonna give a new name, John, as the example before. And we're gonna give it a new email coding John at gmail.com. Okay. When we click this button, it's supposed to set our cookies. So we just have to refresh our page, and here's our cookies. We have our email, we have our name, and we have the date is gonna expire, everything. So we're done with cookies, but then most people are asked like, how can I use this cookie? Or what can I do with this cookie? So example, let's just create a function that will give us our cookies on the window load. So I'm gonna say window.onload. 
okay window.onload mm, okay is equal to a random function it's gonna operate the random function with no parameters okay what we want it to do if okay our document dot cookie length dot cookie dot length that that's basically stating that if we have a cookie which means it's not equal to zero okay i want you to perform this what's the first thing i'm going to do just to debug it let's just say console.log hello just going to let us know if we have a cookie hello control save let's go back here you see you see hello days hello which means we do have cookies if we delete these cookies delete 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 and refresh we won't get any hello that's good so we're gonna leave it empty for now and then what we wanted to do is uh, declare a new variable we're gonna call this the theme array since we're gonna be using the the theme on load okay so i'm gonna say document dot cookie dot split and what we're going to be splitting it with is the equal sign so i'm going to put the equal sign so basically what i'm doing over here is i'm creating a new array i'm creating a new array in which i'm going to store all the cookies for the team in this array so i'm splitting it so it's going to split each and every array or each and every value of the array by that awesome so what do we do in here we're going to say document dot pg color is equal to team array and then it's going to take the first this is the second value of the team so you know what index is zero is one and one is two so it's going to take the second index and then let's go back here let's refresh our page we have no team yet let's set our team to light green now we have a team whenever i reload the page it keeps the team to this to this value See so if I change it to calm orange, it's gonna keep it to this value. So that's what you can use things, or how can I say it? That's what you can use cookies for in JavaScript. So we can do one more function, just net for control. One more function, let's just get our cookies. But we basically done with the video by now. This is just the last extra thing to get our cookies. Okay. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have an if condition again. If document.cookie dot cookie is not equal to zero. I'm gonna display these cookies. It's not equal to zero. It's not equal to zero. Okay, if document.cookie is not equal to zero, I want you to alert me. I want you to tell me what the cookies are. Document dot cookie tell me what they are okay else if there's no cookie set so we're just gonna have else statement here if there's no cookies just let me that no cookies for you okay no cookies for you perfect uh, just have to put that there delete that from this side make sure I type it inside these perfect save now, since we do have a cookie, so when we click here, it's gonna give us our cookies. Okay. Now let's let's delete this cookie. Then we click get cookies. No cookies for use. The cookies might not be set for you depending on what you're using. And the reason is you have to use a web server. That's the only way cookies can be stored. So if you open the page directly like this, right click open in browser, it might not work. So you have to have this package installed in Sublime Text or if you're using Visual Studio Code. If you need help with that, just leave it in the description, in the comment, comment down and I'll show you how to set that up.